Liz. Welcome to another episode of Under the Microscope and to today's Lounge Lab. Uh, today we're going to be doing something pretty special because we're going to be making your very own lava lamp out of stuff that you can just find around your kitchen and yeah around your house. It's going to be really good fun and they look amazing but we're going to be making them with a little bit of a twist as well. So this is the normal ones that you can make but ours is going to be a little bit special today. The first thing that we need to do is fill this bottle three quarters of the way full with some oil. Now I'm going to use vegetable oil because it doesn't smell of anything really or not much anyway and it's really really super cheap. So I need to fill this up first. Oh, it's very gloopy. Okay, lovely. The next thing that we need to do is put something inside there that's going to be able to float around a little bit. So the things that I'm going to use are some of these little gel balls. Now these, when you get them, they come in a little packet and you need to hydrate them. So you need to add water. And when you do, they get really quite big and they get to this, about the size of blueberries. Um, you might have seen them in florists because they use them quite a lot to put in the bottom of vases for things like weddings because they hold onto the flowers so they don't move around and flop all over the place. So I need to put a few of these inside the bottle. They're fiddly little things uh, because they're very super slippy. And I'm also going to use a little bit of rice as well, which I know sounds a bit weird, but you'll see why I'm using it in a bit. I'm going to use my funnel for this because it's pretty messy. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of rice. The next thing that you need to do is fill the rest of the bottle up with some water. Now you can use just normal water, that's fine, but I'm going to use some tonic water, which I dyed green. The darker the dye you use, the better, because it really contrasts well between the oil that you use. Now the reason that I'm using tonic water will be explained later. I don't want to tell you too much about it right now because it will look so cool later, you'll see. All right, so let's fill that up. Looks pretty cool when you just do that, to be fair. So you want it really nice and full, like that. Now, because there's two different liquids in there, they will separate. And the vegetable oil will float here and the water will be at the bottom. Now that rice will stay at the bottom as well and those little beads will be in the water as well. So they'll still be soaking up that colour and they will eventually turn green as well because they'll soak up the dye too. Now you need to leave that for a couple of seconds because as you can see it is completely separating out. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to add some of these. Now these are effervescent tablets uh, which you can get from the chemist or from the supermarket. Um, and what they're going to do is they will react with the water and they will produce carbon dioxide bubbles which will grab on to the rice and to these little gel balls as well and will coat the outside of them and it will then pull them from the water right up through the vegetable oil and up to the top and when they get here those bubbles they won't really be covered in them anymore because they will disappear as it moves through the vegetable oil it'll sink again and then when they get to the bottom, they'll get covered in those bubbles again, move up. And then when they get here, they're gone and they sink again. And you get a nice little cycle going on as well, which is why it will look like a lava lamp. So I'll put a little bit of this effervescent tablet in to sink to the bottom. So you need to put the lid on pretty quick. And now for the next bit to really view it properly, I think we need to go to my underground lab. So come with me and we'll have a look. Okay, so welcome to my underground lab, otherwise known as my kitchen. Uh, two very important things that I have with me for this section of the experiment. A UV light and then just a normal torch. So these two, we'll be able to use them both to look at the lava lamps that I've made, but the UV one is going to be really important when you're looking at the one with the tonic water in. Now the reason for that is tonic water has a really strange property under UV light and it will glow and make an amazing, amazing, colourful, beautiful liquid. And that's what we want to see in our lava lamp. So I'll just switch my main light off so that you can see exactly what's going on. There we have 
Our biggest bottle is the one with the tonic water in and you can see that that is working really, really well because the tonic water does glow so well under UV light. You can see little bits of rice that are being pulled up with these bubbles, those little gel water balls as well. Pretty cool, I think. However, this one I personally think looks much better if you just use a normal torch because it looks a little bit sinister pretty cool gotta love the science behind a bit of vegetable oil and water so there you go that's how to make your own lava lamps at home give it a whirl and i'll see you next time